Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool. And these two here are the RTOP or R-A-R-T-O-P enhanced micro bit sets. Um, they come with 115 of the standard sized four millimeter bits and then three extra long kind of common bits, um, including the coveted Penelope 2, which is uh, needed to open up things like iPhones. Um, this actually fits in here just perfectly. Um, so I can spin it even with my fingers, as you can see, maybe it's this coming out. Yeah, right there. Um, which these are actually, uh, pretty solid bits. I've used them a handful of times. They are a chrome vanadium steel, uh, with a hardness, I don't know, around 54. I think they say it's a standard, uh, complement of about all the different bits you'd need. In fact, if you want the list, here's a, here's an image you can... You can pause the video, I guess, if you wanted to, to try to read all of those. But there's plenty of them there, including a scraper, a pry bar, a magnet. The magnet's kind of an interesting one um, right here. So if you drop something down, you can go after it with this little magnet thing using um, either the little flexible shaft uh, as an extra, extra long reach. Um, this screwdriver handle, of course, it has the free spinning back ends, pretty, pretty good grip, but it's, it's a lightweight and expensive handle, but it also has uh, this extendable uh, bit holder that locks into position. And you can see magnetic held, uh, held bits. Um, not super strong, plenty strong for, for something like this, though. Um, and it has this adapter here. Pop that guy out so you can actually use uh, these smaller bits in a traditional um, quarter inch hex as well. Um, but the good pri good part of this is the price. The price is about on Amazon it's around twenty seven bucks um, for a full set, uh, which isn't bad um, compared to you know iFixit. Um, if you want a smaller, more uh, kind of nimble but limited set, the Weha is great. Um, Klein, they, uh, this was, I thought, going to be a good set, but the Penelope here was not the correct size. Uh, it's marked correctly, and Klein called me, said they'd give me a new one, and they never have, and that was over a year ago, so I'm almost ready to give up on them. Um, but anyway, it fits in a small case. You can see, let me show you. Uh, when you go to Amazon, if you want to read the reviews, what's interesting is the people who had trouble with it, um, the low reviews were they, they broke the case. Uh, yeah, it's a plastic case. I could see that happening, especially if it was really cold. I could see kind of cracking something there. Um, so in addition to the screwdriver handle, it comes with a pair of tweezers. And they're actually pretty good if you look, but they're straight. But that's decent closing in for, you know, an inexpensive tool kit. Uh, kind of a, a pry bar, bit of a kind of a spudger tool. The flexible shaft, somebody said their flexible shaft just spun. Well, yeah, it does. I mean, I'm not sure they were holding it right. I don't know. It's hard to tell sometimes. Uh, comes with those three longer bits and this little storage compartment. Suction cup, SIM card, um, pin, and then uh, some kind of the guitar pick style uh, pry bars. And then something interesting over here, if you look, it's got a magnetizer, demagnetizer uh, built into the case. You know, and I like the high vis orange. Hold this up close so you can actually see all of the, the bit markings here. So you can see they're all organized in their own spots with easy to read markings. It's a little tougher on uh, the blue one to read those because it's darker, it's kind of silver on blue. And I imagine the white case might be the easiest to read. But anyway, uh, if you're looking for a good case, space is not, I mean, a good good kit, space is not a problem. You're looking for a little bit more uh, economical one, I can recommend these. I've done some other RTOP uh, reviews before on some of their tool sets, um, and I've had no trouble with them. You know, they are uh, oh, kind of a one-size-fits-all as far as all of the different bits in one, one location, um, but that's what this is all about. And 
Uh, I'll put a link below so you can see them um, on Amazon. But also, if you've got a favorite bit set, a small one, or a, a favorite small bit set, you know, or small bits, let me know. I'm always curious to try different ones. Um, and the delivery of them, um, you know, means a lot. One thing I found, this is kind of nice to have a whole top that pops off, but um, where's my top? <laughs> on my eye, fix it. Um, this one is great for uh, for small work, and, or I mean for a mobile work, because it's a nice metal case. Um, but you pay for that. It's a more expensive one. Klein could be good. You get all the pieces, and I, it sounds like everyone but me did. Um, but that's one of the, the risks of getting a lot of tools is you end up working your way out towards that percent of failure um, coming off the assembly line. But anyway, I thought this would be uh, of interest because when I do the small bit videos, um, there are usually quite a few different comments of what people are after. Kind of some neat bits in here. Anyway, with that, Doc out.